Hey fans of 24, since 24 Live Another Day is right around the corner, I decided to create this discussion episode to discuss what went wrong with the original series. Okay, let's look back at 24 to where the problems started. Ironically, the main problems started during the show's two most successful seasons, Season 4 and Season 5. Season 4 was a good season, and it had very good ratings, the best the series had seen so far. However, in a controversial move, most of the original cast were removed, and despite this unpopular decision, the ratings were stronger, and this unfortunately gave 24's producers the wrong message, thinking 24 cast members were expendable. While the season was good, and I liked the new cast overall, Though I didn't like Chloe O'Brien being written out for six episodes, the series definitely got better as the cast returned, and the end of the fourth season was really good. The fifth season of 24 was amazing, and arguably the best season in the series, but the producers went too far, killing off key cast members. Not only was President Palmer killed off, but so was Michelle, and later in the season, so was Tony. If this had been the final season for the series, this might have been forgivable. Maybe. And I stress the maybe. I won't deny the deaths of these characters created an amazing storyline for the season. But the problem is, while ultimately this was a solid season, but they killed off way too many fan-favorite characters without realizing the consequences for later seasons. In my opinion, if a character had to die, President Palmer was more than enough sure Tony and Michelle could have been seriously injured, but they did not need to die. And the end result for the season would have been the same effect. The season concluded with the president in custody and Jack kidnapped by the Chinese. Okay, let's talk about the sixth season, aka the season that caused irreparable damage to 24. Jack is finally returned to the United States after being tortured in China for nearly two years. He is handed over to a terrorist in hopes of stopping terrorist attacks. Though Jack escapes his fate, a nuke detonates in Los Angeles, and Jack spends a large chunk of the day recapturing suitcase nukes, and discovers his estranged families involved indirectly. Anyway, the plot got old in a hurry, recycling old ideas. So the last seven episodes involve Jack rescuing Audrey Rains who had gone to China to save Jack and was kidnapped by the Chinese and tortured for months. In the end, Jack stops the Chinese plot, but the ending was really sad. After Jack has an argument with James Heller, he says goodbye to Audrey, and season 6 ends. Okay, where the hell do I start with what's wrong with this season? First, why was Jack abandoned for nearly two years? President Wayne Palmer should have gotten Jack out the second he took office. Why was the character Curtis Manning killed off? It made no sense. This season used too many older recycled plots, and frankly, the suitcase nuke story should have been abandoned by episode 12. Jack rescuing Audrey was not big enough. It should have been a much larger battle to get her back, including flashback sequences of their time in China from each of their perspectives. The ending was horrible. Audrey Reigns is in a catatonic state, and instead of Jack taking her away to take care of her, he walks away instead. This season destroyed 24. Curtis Manning was dead. President Wayne Palmer was on a ventilator. James Heller is now one of the most hated characters in the series for abandoning Jack while he was tortured in China. And Audrey Reigns is now in a catatonic state. This season had a powerful start, but a disastrous conclusion. Not only damaging the series, but damaging key characters. Season 7, okay, this season I don't have a lot to say about. The first two thirds, the producers and writers got creative and moved the show to a new city and brought Tony Almeida back from the grave, which was a really good move. And Jack finally got a badass female partner, Renee Walker, who was a really good fit to the show. Basically, the first two thirds of this season were solid. But the last eight episodes destroyed all the progress they made. Tony Almeida kills the FBI field director and becomes a fully fledged bad guy. Jack is dying from a prion disease and in one final showdown Jack and Renee stop Tony from killing the man who had Michelle killed. Tony went bad for revenge. Jack is dying but Kim his daughter gets a procedure done to save him. 
Okay, overall, this season was good. Strong new cast and older cast. But mistakes started to happen, including killing off the character Bill Buchanan and turning Tony into a fully-fledged bad guy, which was a horrible move and guaranteed we would likely never see the character Tony again. While the ending with Jack and his daughter was good, I still felt before Jack was sedated, Audrey Reigns should have showed up to have a conversation with Jack, which would have been a, a really good thing to have happen. Season 7 overall was far better than Season 6, but thanks to mistakes, one character was killed, and another fan favorite character destroyed. Season 8, okay, this season started out semi-okay for the first few episodes. CTE was back, but with almost completely new cast. Renee Walker is brought in to help CTU. However, despite some good cast, most of the first half of the season was pretty weak storyline. And in the second half, while the story improved, major mistakes were made. Jack and Renee sleep together, which was a bad idea. Even the actors admitted having a hard time doing the scene. Renee was Jack's combat partner, not his love partner. Renee is shot, and despite Jack's best efforts, Renee dies. The president, desperate to save her peace treaty, is manipulated by Charles Logan to commit illegal acts, and Jack, unable to get justice legally, takes it illegally killing the people responsible for the day's events and Renee Walker's death. In the end, the president comes to her senses and with the help of Chloe, saves Jack's life. But Jack has to run because he will now be wanted by both American and Russian governments. And the president tenders her resignation and surrenders herself to the Attorney General to face the consequences of her actions. Jack and Chloe have a heartfelt final goodbye. Okay, what's wrong with Season 8? Um, how about everything? Renee Walker was not very effectively used for the first half of the season, then she and Jack sleep together, which was another bad move, and they kill her character off? President Taylor abandons her principles, and even with good intentions, and becomes a bad guy herself. And President Suvorov, while in earlier seasons he was a good Russian president, who helped the US, in season 8, he becomes a bad guy. What the hell? In the end... While the series final in Season 8 was pretty good, and President Taylor came to her senses, this season overall was almost as bad as Season 6. From less than good stories, and again, not valuing important characters, and their importance, to the show. In the end guys, you can now see what caused 24 the original series downfall, however despite this, I have high hopes for 24, Live Another Day, which I will now talk about. Okay, here's the gist on 24, Live Another Day. Jack has been in hiding for four years, and comes out when he hears there's a threat to the president's life. Chloe is now a rebel who has lost her son somehow, which is mysterious. James Heller is now the president of the United States. Audrey Reigns is now married to the president's chief of staff, which I'm mad about. But in all fairness, in the 24 timeline, it's been nine and a half years since she's seen Jack. However, the guy she's married to seems to be an asshole. So I am hoping for a happy ending for Jack and Audrey. Anyway, this 12-part series sounds awesome, and I do have high hopes for it, considering it will not only possibly allow certain characters a chance at redemption, but also right several wrongs. I just hope the series does not conclude with Jack saying goodbye to Audrey, and going on the run again, because that would make me mad. Anyway, 24 fans, 24 Live Another Day airs on May 5th, and I hope the series does not make the same mistakes which caused the original series to fail. See you guys later. This is the Entertainment Wizard, signing off.